Okay, hello everybody. This is Jake Nickbake, and I am here on Pixel Car Racer, and I am here to show you my favorite car and my favorite tune. I can't remember where I got the tune from, I just know that I searched it up on the internet. It's a, if I remember correct in the title, it said something about a million in two minutes is what the dude said. But I have the F1X motor in it, which, yes, you will have to save up money before you do it. The rims and the decals doesn't really matter as long as you get, like, 140 weight. I, I, I know that weight doesn't mean exactly a lot, but I also have the Demon 250 shot. I have the Ready T6, T60E 24 karat gold turbo. Yeah, sorry, not wanting, to, not very good at talking. I have the VX bags. I have Nitto large drag slicks. I have put a max power bomb. You don't really need the max power bomb. I have the PR gold. I have a SF Type R Pro. I have the VX Titan. I have a VX Open XL 24 karat gold. I got that out of boxes. Actually, I got a decent bit of stuff out of crates. I was pretty lucky. Now, here is my ride height and my boost controller. I leave it all the way up, except for suspension. I have a four and a half inch drop. And here are my gears. If you'd like to get them, now would be the time to pause the video. I'm sorry if my voice sounds very bland. My throat hurts. Now I am here to show off the car a little bit. This is going to be really embarrassing if I fail this, but oh well. I am here to show off the car and show off the tune, right? What's the point in showing off the car if you don't throw risk out there like something tough like the hardest tournament? Now, I don't, I don't hold down the clutch. When I rev upwards, I shift down to neutral. Now, I don't know how you prefer, but I suggest switching to neutral, and I'll explain in a second. But to do this, I shift down, rev up. When I get to 1.5, I try to hit my boost, and then I wait for the light. Once the light happens, I... You have to shift to second gear pretty fast because the first gear goes by really extremely fast. And I'm already through my gears. I should be pulling off a 6.3. Oh, I pulled off a 6.2, okay. If that doesn't say something, then I don't know what does because that just amazed me. I've been pulling off 6.57, like that, right, right around that area. No, 6.37, correction. I don't know if I said 6.57, I think I am. Mind you, it's really late right now, I'm not trying to be mean. My brain is, like I said, not wanting to focus right. I recently had a crash, and the crash is not doing me too well. So, my brain is staying up late like it shouldn't. And I've tried to sleep properly, but that doesn't help. Right now, this is me trying to cope through that right now. So, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment if you would have any suggestions. Since I finally figured out how to get Mobius into function, it wasn't functioning there for a little bit on my phone. And I know this isn't the end of the video yet, but I'm just saying that so I don't forget it because I have a tendency to forget things. <laughs> Intense focus, activate. Eh. I only have to focus hard when I reach that starter bit, because after I shift through to the second gear, so you just tap, 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 until I reach seventh, like you just saw. <laughs> I'm going to be learning how to ride on inline soon, once I get my permanent crowns in. I have temporary crowns from my crash, you should be able to see that video on 
my YouTube. I think that was the last video I did was either of me in the neck brace or me doing an update. But right now my jaw hurts because, well, eating is a pain with a cracked tooth. Because, let's just put it this way. You know when you would, like, say, burn your tongue on something too hot? Well, I get that feeling sort of inside my tooth, on my upper right tooth. On my lower left tooth that did have the root exposed, it hurt a whole lot more. Like, the pain was not quite describable. But they burned the root, and oh my gosh, the scent of your burning flesh is really bad. I don't mean to be grossing out anyone or anything, but this is me talking to anyone who's listening, or anyone who's watching, wanting to know anything. So, I am going to be using this video as a show off my tune on my vehicle, and also a crash update and see I have won the tournament with that car that setup that tune and I've done pretty good if I do say so myself I'm sorry there's a burp coming on I'm trying not to burp on microphone because that seems pretty rude to me even though we're not talking face to face I'm still talking to viewers <laughs> And I, I'm not dissing on YouTubers because, oh my gosh, I do have several YouTubers that I do like to watch that do burp. But since I am a low-time YouTuber, just trying to get my name out there, I just figured that it's safer to... Oh my gosh, no. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix that. I have a SAO launcher on my phone. And the hitbox for it is actually pretty big, so I've got to lower that next time I get the chance. But here's my power wagon that I like to use. It's the weird, funky Ford pickup thing. And I don't know how to explain it, but I use it to have my motorcycle on, which, yes, the motorcycle is in the wrong position. It's technically going through the roof. But what I'm imagining for this, even though it has a motorcycle is it's a custom build type wagon and that's one of my dream cars is to have a custom build type wagon to where I can store stuff and then I can put a motorcycle on top like that and the way the upper half of the vehicle is constructed it's be able to fit snug against the motorcycle and hold it tight in there so there's that here's my rice vehicle not really rice because I did upgrade it a little bit, but it's my rice vehicle right now. As you can tell, I stanced it, put a really big wide body kit on it. Here is my drag machine. It is a Corvette. If you can't tell, the number that I'm using as my racing number didn't mean to hit that. Don't hit that because I actually like filming and here's my favorite car it's my surfing car which I don't surf but I'd love to play on one day it's my little pickup most of these cars are custom decals by the way I didn't I didn't get a close-up of that car I'll point out in a second which cars are custom decals if you haven't figured out already. If basically what I mean by that is if you've played this game a lot, you've pretty much seen all the decals they give you. If you haven't seen all the decals they give you, then I mean that's okay because there are still very few that I'm coming into contact with. Like the Miku Lee, which is Hatsune Miku with like to where it shows the back of it, but that is a custom decal, that is a custom decal, that is a custom decal, and that is a custom decal. I probably, let's just, hmm, 
I've put a ton of money into these cars. Now I am going to open up the crate since I have you guys. And let's hope for a good part. Oh. Aw. Ew. Yeah, crates aren't that lucky all the time. It usually takes me like around about of like five to six ish crates before I get a really good part. But um I do spend ten dollars like every once in a while on my game so that I can get the 60 crates. I was pretty happy with this last time. Oh my gosh. Hold up. I know what's going on and I don't like it. If you can't tell those SLG rats were hidden behind the, the my, my neons. But like the rims on this car I was really happy with because I got those out of a crate. And they are my, hold up, let me, don't push that, go all the way there. And, well, that's the rims that I have on my, my fair lady. Or Dotson 240, I think it is, but I call it a Dotson fair lady. That's on my little truck that is on my power wagon. That is on my fair lady. Well, I guess since I'm done talking now, and this would be a good time to hop off, I hope this helped those of you trying to level up a bit faster if you've gotten to the point in the game where you've got, basically, you've got enough money but you don't know how to beat the higher up races to make yourself money easier, or because I did build myself from very slow cars, but, oh, oh, wait, before I end this, this would probably be very dipwaddish of me to not tell you. But, it does take a specific car. Okay, let me find it, let me find it, let me find it. By the way, this is in the Japanese cars. Yes, I know, how silly, ha, 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 it's Japanese cars, you're going to the Japanese cars, it's... PCR, this car right here is the car that you want to use for it. It, it is 8,000, so save up 8,000 and grab this and then put the tune on it. Now the tune may not work completely 100% if you've got no parts on it, but it will help you get down the drag strip easier. But now that I have then finished that, now I'm going to say goodbye to all my viewers. If you liked this video, if it was helpful, please leave a like. If you want more of these videos, please subscribe and leave a comment saying, Hey, Jaken, I would like more PCR, or if you guys would like, please tell me if you'd like videos of me learning how to inline. Because that I would like to help, because I don't quite understand the turning thing about them, which once I learn that, I will gladly make a video of how to explain it. To, I'm um, trying to think of a name for my viewers and, you know, like how Craner has his crazy family and, and those type YouTubers, but I don't really think you guys need that. If you do, again, leave a comment. I know, oh my gosh, I'm getting super annoying. But I really do thank you guys for subbing. And since I am carrying on the discussion, why not show you a few cool things? Like you can turn on the screen PCR. <laughs> but I do really thank you guys and and for all the support you guys have given even though there's not very many of you I still do thank you guys and well my hands are doing a lot better since that last video of me so I can actually grip things now but bye